Today we are going to look at uh, certain calculations which are extremely useful uh, for children right from the middle school to those who are giving the competitive exams. So you have certain uh, either it could be in the form of word problems or it could be in the form of directly asking you questions. You have a big number divided by let's say a two digit number. If this works for all numbers but I'm talking about the two digit numbers more so uh, today. Uh, when you have for example I have written a small question here which has a big number which is divided by something which is a two digit number which is 82. So when you do that what you do you take okay two digits okay let's take the first two digits oh it is smaller okay I need to take the first three digits. So when I take the first three digits this number which is 82 here it goes how many times so that I'm able to get a number which is the same number here or a number which is close to it which is smaller than it. So I go on to try I say okay multiplied by 6 multiplied by 8 because 6 is too small okay let me try 8 then I find out 82 multiplied by 9 and say okay fabulous. So now I need to do this the quotient is 9 here and then okay I have this number which is written here and then I have a remainder now back to square one I need to find out this number multiplied by what will give me a number which is the same or something close to this which is smaller than this. So you find that you will be trying out a lot of these kind of calculations again and again. So to make it easy which you can just do it in less than 10-15 seconds depending on how good you are in your tables from you know 1 to 9 that's it you just need to know your tables of 1 to 9 and you will be able to find out all the multiples of two digit numbers when you have to divide certain numbers by that or for any other purpose which you have in your word problem you will be able to do it extremely fast the multiples of two digit numbers which I'm going to talk to you, the multiplication tables of those numbers are going to be so fast that you will be able to do them at the fastest speed that you can ever see. So let's try these out. These are small tips and tricks that we need to work on. So let's look at the tables for 82. So first what you need to do is to write for example, please make sure that you keep two spaces. So it is 0, 8 and 0, 2. So instead of the times for 82 times table that we are going to do, write it as 0, 8 and 0, 2. To the left, make sure that you write once because 82 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 2, etc. So you say that you want to do it, say for example, 5. You can do it for whatever number you want to stop at. But since we're talking about tables, we generally do it till 10. So I'm going to write it till 10 here. So now what we need to do, very, very simple. So we have 0802, it's nothing but remember 2 is in the units digit, take it there. Tens digit, it is 0, plus the 8 which is already in the tens digit, it is 0 plus 8 is 82. So that's the trick. Just remember you have to only take the single digit from here and write it. Whatever is here gets added to the one which is here and you write it. For example, let's look at the next one. First, we need to write the 8 times table fully, the 2 times table fully. That's it. So let's go to the 8 times table. 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 8 threes are 24, 8 fours are 32, 8 fives are 40, 8 six are 48, 8 sevens are 56, 8 eights are 64, 8 nines are 72 and 8 tens are 80. You've completed the 8 times table. Now let's do the 2 times table. Remember we said we will have 2 of those digits. So 2 twos are 4 but we will write it as 0 4. 2 threes are 6. 2 fours are 8. 2 fives are 10. 2 six are 12. 2 sevens are 14. 2 eights are 16. 2 nines are 18 and 2 tens are 20. 
Now all that you need to do as I told you whatever is in the last digit please write it as it is in the last column. So 4 whatever is here add it to the one which is here. So 16 plus 0 remains as 16. The next one is 6 as it is 4 plus 0 is 4 and you have 246. Similarly here you have the last digit which is 8. 0 mm -hmm. plus 32 remains as 32. Mm -hmm. So you have 3, 2, 8. Similarly, 4, 1, 0. Remember the 2 digit. 48 plus 1 is 49. So 492. And similarly, you have 574. We have 6 which is here. And it is 65. And then you have 8 which is here. And it is 72 plus 1 is 73. And you have 0 which is here, 280 plus 2 is 82. This is your 82 times table. Extremely easy. And now when you have to do it with respect to the division and you want to see which particular number, is it 9 times or is it 7 times or is it 6 times, you will be able to make it out as easily as it is with just one time. I took time in explaining it to you but it is extremely simple. Let me give you one more example so that you understand this clearly. Let's see the times uh, the multiplication table for let me say 47 for example. So here what you need to do is write 0, 4, 0, 7 and 7 as it is and make it as 47. Remember you are writing the tables of 4, writing the tables of 7. 4 times table is 0, 8. Remember you can put 1, 2, 3 etc. here so that you know it goes how many times in case you need to write it in the quotient. So you've written it till 9 and then till 10. So similarly you have the 4 times table. You have 8 and then you have 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 4 tenths are 40. You finish the 4 times table. 7 times table. You need to write it here. So we have 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63 and 70. So you've written the 7 times table and all that you need to do remember whatever is in the last digit here or the last column here write as is and here you will have 8 plus 1 is 9. Similarly last column whatever is there here write as is 12 plus 2 is 14 141. Last column as is 16 plus 2 is 188. And similarly, you have the next one is 235. You have the next one, which is remember your what you're writing here is in the last column is 2. 24 plus 4 is 28. And then you have 329. And then you have 376. And then you have 423. So let's make a quick check. 3 here, 36 plus 6 so that you understand that clearly. So it's 42. And then you have 0 here and 40 plus 7 is 47, 470. And this is your 47 times table. So when you have to divide it by any number, a big number by a two digit number, it's extremely simple. So write this and keep it and when you have to do your division, it becomes very easy. So try this out.